guys, this is Crafty Cat. Welcome back to my channel, and welcome if you're new. We are here with a brand new um, diamond painting completion and review video. And I'm sorry about the noise of the cars going by. It's a really beautiful day and I've got my window open. It's too warm to not have it open. But anyway, we're going to take a look at this review that is Halloween themed, as you can see, and it's super, super cute. And it's also part of Fall, you all. So anyway, um, I really had fun doing this. So let me grab my book so I can tell you a little bit about it. I can't believe how fast the time is going by. Uh, October is just flying by. It's almost it's almost Halloween as I'm recording this. Probably will be Halloween by the time this gets up. But anyway, this is a diamond painting A3475. It's 30 by 40 centimeters. I got it at Fan Cells. I'm just calling them Pumpkin Cat. Four dollars and sixty-five cents. Twenty-three colors, full round drill, diamond painting. So I started this on October the 18th, and I finished this on October the 24th. And uh, I really love it. I think it's really, really beautiful. Maybe let's see if we can move it a little bit closer to the camera. Let's tilt it down. How's that? That's better. All right. So I just love the colors. I love fall colors. I love the bright oranges. Um, I just, there's something about fall colors that I love, but I only love them in the fall. Because <laughs> then in the spring, I really want all the spring colors. And in the winter, I want all the winter colors, the reds and the burgundies. And it's just, I'm very thematically um, oriented, my brain. So anyway, in the fall, I just love the purples and the oranges and the yellows and the earth tones, just so gorgeous. Anyway, the pros of this, number one pro, pre-bagged. You got to love when something comes pre-bagged. Although I am now used to working out of my little containers and I prefer the containers to the bags, but if they're pre-bagged, I am working out of the bags. So there's that. Um, I really like just being able to start a diamond painting. All you really have to do is lay these flat for a while to get the creases out. So the other uh, pro was the price, $4.65 Canadian. So um, three something American from my American friends. It was pretty and bright, fun to do. I, I like this kind of a scene. It reminds me of Scooby-Doo and cartoons. Um, very, very clear drill field, lots of extra drills, beautiful colors. Um, for the cons, as nice as this is for the size, I think this would have been awesome in one size bigger. Um, let me tip this sideways. So you see it doesn't fit the diamond dot um, light pad. Something this big in this I think would have been awesome. Just one size bigger would have been really cool. But then on the other hand, when it's a bigger diamond painting, I really have to love it a lot before I'll buy it because it's so much extra work. So anyway, um, and it takes so much longer. And then I have less content from my channel. So, yeah, but it would have been nicer in a bigger size. So let's take a closer look at this. And it's already been sealed with my uh, clear glue, but it's still super, super sparkly. And I, I really hope the camera is picking up how very sparkly this is. And this is from Fan Cells. But I do find that the darker colors are much more sparkly when the light hits them. But it's just gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? And look at the glow in the jack-o'-lantern. And here we have a pumpkin that wasn't carved and just the beautiful vibrant oranges. And they repeated the oranges in the cat's hat and collar. And they repeated the yellow greens and the eyes. Now, this looks like it had a lot of color blocking, but it really did not. So if I bring you closer, the cat has all kinds of colors in them. The cat has, is made up of blacks and browns and greens and oranges and a little bit of yellows. For the shading and everything. So there was not a lot of color blocking. Um, there was a little bit of color blocking in this jack-o'-lantern's face, but not really. If I bring it closely, you can see all the different oranges and yellows that went into it. So yeah, this was very, um, it was more confetti than I expected. There was a little bit of color blocking here in the moon. But yeah, so I really, really enjoyed it. I think it is gorgeous and it's super, super sparkly. Just really beautiful. 
perfect for this time of year. I think I'm going to frame it in a black frame. I do have a black, a black uh, frame. I think I'm just going to put it in the entrance downstairs for a little while, just for a week. And then I'll just replace the photo with something else for the rest of fall. And then going into winter, I can just take it out and replace it. But yeah, I, um, I normally prefer the wood, the fake wood grain, um, frames, but this will look really nice in the black. So yeah, so I really, really enjoyed doing this. I really had fun. I love fan cells. It's one of my favorite places to get diamond paintings. Um, they never let me down. The one time they sent me the wrong drills, I sent them an email and they right away apologized and they sent me the right drills. So you can't beat that really, really good service and great prices. Anyway, um, if you like this, please give me a thumbs up, leave your comments, let me know what you think, and um, subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you very much to those of you who have. I really, really appreciate it a lot. I love being a part of this diamond painting community, this art community. And anyway, you guys, um, most importantly of all, take care and stay safe, and happy diamond painting, and happy Halloween. Bye for now.